thank you for joining our weekly tutorial here we're gonna do the glitter wine glasses today um, all we're gonna need is a little bit of alcohol to wipe the glass with and I always start with that um, to wipe off any of the oils from the from the packing any lint or fuzz that may be on it that may stop it from adhering uh, the glitter from not sticking as well so we'll start with some Mod Podge I use the um, gloss and you can use dishwasher safe for this some tutorials you'll see will suggest the dishwasher safe but I don't like to use that because it takes 28 days to cure 28 and nobody has time for that I want to go ahead and start using them so um, you will tell your customers or um, you know your friends and family that you will hand wash these you don't put them in the dishwasher of course so it'll keep them good and sparkly and safe I do like to use the Krylon uh, Glitter Blast with these two, and that, in between um, coatings of the Mod Podge, it will keep it good and sparkly. So, sometimes if you get too much of the Mod Podge on there, it will create kind of a film over it, and we want them to stay good and sparkly like we have right here. All right, so I've already wiped my glass down and I start at the bottom with a foam brush and I like these circular ones you can get these at any craft store they're just easier for me to kind of maneuver let me grab the Mod Podge I have it out of reach here of course so we're gonna start and like I said I like to use the gloss for these it just uh, makes it have a shinier finish Coating the bottom, getting it good, and you can be generous with this because it will dry clear. Okay, flip it here. And I will work up the stem. Just paint it on and for the ombre effect when we get to the bottom here um, I just like to dab it on these glasses they're hard to work with sometimes I just like to dab it on here no particular pattern but I do just make sure that it's even all right everything is coated up so put the lid on that all right, and I will move right along to the glitter part. I'll start right here at the bottom. Okay. Just sprinkling it around here. And covering it all. And I'm always super generous with my glitter, too. Um, now, since we kind of just dab, it's going to create that ombre effect up here at the top. Um, and I don't want it to be really uniform and even. And I just pour it on. And I'm going to pour every bit of this glitter right back into the container. All right, and I just kind of lightly tap and sprinkle it on. You can use your lid um, if it has that on there, but I always just take mine off and glitter everything. Like I said before on my other videos, I glitter the dog and I glitter the baby and I, get, I stay in trouble. All right, and just lightly Bring the top. I tell you another thing that I do is I will take a little pinch here and just kind of sprinkle it, and it gives it that nice uneven kind of ombre look that I like. But matter of preference. Okay. And so, I'll cover the bottom. I just kind of roll it around here. And the extra glitter. 
tap any extra off. All right, and then we have our first step down. So I will put this off to the side. Can you hear the dog? <laughs> I'll put this off to the side and wait two hours for this to dry. All right, so two hours have passed. And we are back to our glass here. We did the same steps as we did before. Um, we just put that Mod Podge on and you can do one or two layers. It's depending on how thick your glitter is or how opaque it is, how transparent. Some glitters, one coat is all that it takes. And with these gold, you can see that it's pretty much covered. It looks really good. Um, with some lighter colors though, they're more transparent. So you might have to do a second coat. And when it, the Mod Podge is dry, the glitter is pretty stuck to it. But I would just kind of run my finger along, you know, hand along and brush off any extra glitter. Same as before, just... Coat it on. Be generous. This just needs that one layer. Or you, like I said, you can add the two. Okay. And then we would let this dry and you're ready to go. Now, with the option of the glitter sealer, when would you use that? I would use that as soon as I get done with the first coat. I go ahead and I blast that on. I let that sealer like really lock that glitter in and it's not gonna go anywhere. So when you go to Mod Podge it again, you shouldn't have that much fallout from the glitter. So if you do use the sealer, I know that a lot of people don't, they don't have it or they don't prefer to use it. If you do like me, I do. Mod Podge Glitter Sealer, let dry two hours. Mod Podge, you're done. So, these are super easy to do, like I said. I would then, after it has been a couple hours and everything's done, I would apply my vinyl at that point and I would just wipe the glass down with a little bit of alcohol to get you know any oil from my hands or any of the glitter off that may be on there and it would make it stick really well and you are ready to go so for the stemless wine glasses. Um, you would just use painter's tape and paint you off any of the design that you want. You can do a circle. Um, some people like to do a triangle on theirs and kind of make it like a little tuxedo. Uh, that's just a matter of preference too. So, um, like I said, easy to do. A lot of fun. If you guys have any questions, drop them below in the comments. Uh, if you liked the video, enjoyed it, give it a like. 